Do you read books? I mean, I have. Do you like? What do you do that for fun? Um, you know, it, it. I would actually do it more if I wasn't as stressed and bi- like busy. You really? know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah like I do enjoy. Like, I, I I probably read the most books um, when I've had less to like a vacation. I like reading. I like bringing a book on vacation. Really? Yeah, I like I like sitting around. That's like crazy. Books. Like Patton Oswald, when the pandemic hit, he was like, oh, it's the best thing. I just sit on the porch and read a book. And I'm like. What do you not like about that, though? The reading. The reading. The not talking and just sitting there and reading. That might be good for you. It's fucking stupid. Just sit there and fucking look at something and read it. And you can listen to it. It's so much better to listen to it. Yeah. Then watch it. Watch it. What's, what do you think? Be honest. If If Instagram came out. Around the time of the Bible. Um, yeah. Do you think that we'd even have books at all? I don't know. I don't know. That's such a crazy fucking formula that just <laughs> popped into your head. How much better is I TikTok remember this. than books? I remember <laughs> So much better. Yeah, let's find the slurs we can use. Um, you can say... You, you can call somebody a Mick if they're your Irish friend. 100%. But you, I think it's one of those words, too, that um, it's kind of like who's saying it and how. Like, it's, it's accepted... But if you're really trying to disparage a group of Irish people, like if you were upset yeah. that they were at your place of business or something, you're like, these fucking mix. Like they're probably going to receive it differently. But you if know? you're if if you and Colin Quinn are doing a jigsaw together and he can't get it done, get it, figure out the corners, you're like this dumb mix over yeah, here. And yeah, he'd laugh for sure. I, would think. I don't think you can use oh. um like the ones for Italian. I don't. Th- I, I think Italians are too. Which cocktail. slur? There's multiple ones for Italians. Uh, pull up Italian racial slurs. Really? Wait. Yeah, but it's like also kind of like if it's your buddy and you're using it like, what are we doing here? Terrible. Terrible result. Terrible. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Type in. List. List. <laughs> List. And Italian. Italic slurs. List there you of go. ethnic stories. Fine, sure, there. let's hit this. And then, Dob, our, our 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 screen went blank. Can you read them to us? We can't. We can't see the screen at all. Uh, Will you just read all the racial slurs? Gringo, Yank. No, no, Those no. For go for alphabetical. Oh. Alphabetical. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I didn't even know this one for Jews. What is it? Oh, Abby, Abe, Abby, Abby. Oh, Abe. That's hilarious. That I love a when a slur is just like. Some of them have this name. Look at this fucking Abe over here. Yeah. That's yeah. By the way, these are we could find some fun racial slurs yeah. that don't hurt anyone's feelings, but are fun to say, and then we turn it into positives. Sure. All right, keep scrolling, Abe. A bead. A bead. A bead there is for a black African people. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Abo. Abo. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. for Aboriginal. Okay. Uh, a cha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is that? Meaning good or okay in Hindi. Yeah, but it's used uh, on South Asian people. Oh, oh. Yeah. Some of these are like one guy heard it. Yeah. One time I was like, "That's a good one," and then he just wrote the list. Yeah. I've never heard that. Uh oh, there's a nice one. Uh, why don't you take that one, Any for us? Take that next one. Hey, yeah, Any, can you read some of these? Actually, can you read all of them? Yeah. You yeah. can't get in trouble. I'm going to put my headsets uh, on so I can hear you. Okay. You ready? Yes. We got uh, nigga. <laughs> no, no. That, that hasn't oh, come up. Oh, my bad. Which one did you want? <laughs> that hasn't come up yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, Al- Alpine Serb? No, the one above it. Oh, yeah. You like that one, huh? Are you a fan of that one? It says, uh, it says gator bait. And that's, what is that? It says, uh, it says that's my niggas, especially black uh, 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 nigga children. <laughs> Stop with that. Stop. You don't have to make it oh, worse. You, like <laughs> you don't like, you can say it with me. That That's one that you definitely can say. What? Like, uh, you can you can say it like niglets. Oh, here, here. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's take the mic away from any. <laughs> Wait, I got a better idea. Huh? Why don't you mouth it and any say it as a white guy? <laughs> You you mouth them and any yeah. you you will you'll put your voice into it there. Hey, uh, scroll. Let's see what what's coming up next. Hold on. Anne. Hey. 
I think. Look at Anne white. over here. Oh, that's a white. Oh, a acting white acting black, black woman. woman. Wow. Miss that's got to be old as fuck. Yeah. That's from the 50s for sure. I got two weeks off. I got three weeks off. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to get, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get jacked. What do you weigh now? I don't know. Probably 253. I'm guessing because I, I, I know my belt. Okay. My belt is, was, was, is a 253 belt. <laughs> I'm guessing my waist is 40. Four inches right now, meaning like a legit tape. Okay. Okay. It's in fucking centimeters. <laughs> Forty three. 43. Oh, yeah, 43. I'm going to lower this belt. 43, not bad. All right. Yeah, 43. I'm going to measure every part of my body. I'll post okay. it. Okay. I'll post it. I'll measure every part of my body, and then I'll measure my part of my body when I start the day I start fully loaded. Which I'm is only three weeks from now? I don't know, June 16th? Yeah. June 16th, it goes is a, South Bend, month. Louisville, Dayton, Rochester, Greenville, uh, Bristol, uh, Lawrenceville, and uh and brandon mississippi all right yeah and so and so i'm gonna measure myself i'm on a health kick man i want to fix it I, here's the thing is i when when i threw up that night it was like a fucking wake up call where i was like where i was like dude i'm i'm fucking up my voice yeah i'm legit fucking up my voice from this. that's a big I, deal you can ask peter i swear to god the only reason I've, I've lost weight on this run the only reason is i'm eating Right, I'm eating before my first show, and then I don't eat again the whole fucking until night. the next day. And so I'm, I'm fasting for 16 hours because you know you're also getting cocktails, and I go to sleep. I have been drinking, and but I go to sleep, and then I sleep until noon, and I'm fasting for like 16 hours. So I've been good with the diet. I've been good with the diet, so I have lost weight. I think I'll probably be 250 if I weighed myself right now. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I crazy. need a trainer like you have. It's crazy to say I've been good with the diet. <laughs> I have. Okay. I have. Oh, having said that, yeah, we went to the old Texan, and Dave yeah. did the old seventy-two challenge. How did he do? <laughs> no. He, he threw up. He threw up. He threw up in the bathroom and shit his pants. <laughs> he did. For people that don't know, that is you have the challenge is you eat a seventy-two ounce steak. Also, you're a supposed to eat the bread, baked potato, a slice of bread, a salad, and three shrimp cocktails. So he goes in. We had Mans do it. Mans is a vegetarian. <laughs> That's hilarious. We had Mans do it because Mans, because you sat up on a stage, and Dave was like, "We were all going to do it at first. And then I, I told Leanne that night. I said, "We're all doing the seventy-two hours challenge." <laughs> and she called me the next day. And she's like, "You're not. You're actually not. You're not allowed to." And I was like, "What?" She goes, "Nope." She goes, "You're doing good with your eating. You're going to eat too much. You're going to throw up. You're going to fuck your throat up. Do not eat it." And I went, mm. "Yeah, you're probably right." And and <clears throat> and then Dave, we put Dave up there. Dave did great. To be honest with you. He almost finished it, but uh, he, it's a lot of food, man. Yeah, seventy-two ounces, and it's not the best cut of meat. I'm right. not gonna lie to you. There's this woman, Molly Schuyler, who did it in four minutes. Yeah, she's like probably a competitive eater, though. Yeah, right? I know her. I actually know her. I texted her. I was like, "That's fucking impressive." Yeah, that's. But yeah, it's that's the fucking meal. Dave ate, so they come in almost like four chunks of steak. Dave ate three of them. And literally had probably a hamburger left of steak. And he'd eaten all the other stuff already? He'd eaten too? all the other stuff. And he fucking threw up and shit his pants? He goes, well, he threw up at the table. <laughs> he threw up at the fucking table. Like, they had a bite. He had a bite. So it was fucking hilarious because he'd take a bite and he just... You didn't record this? Oh, we recorded all of this. You have it recorded? Oh, all of it. Of him throwing up? All of it. He goes, he's at the table and he goes, like, he starts doing this. And we're like, Dave? And he, they bring him a bucket and he puts it up next to him. And day, and then all of a sudden he takes a bite and it just comes up, throws up in the bucket, and he's like, "I'm out, I'm out." He had a minute left. He's like, "I'm out." Goes into the bathroom, throws up aggressively in the bathroom, shits himself in the bathroom, takes his underwear off, fucking comes out, and he's like, "We need to leave now." <laughs> Get to the venue in Amarillo, uh, throws up again. Uh, Thro he threw up four times, I think, in total, and shit himself once. Oh my god! But he had a great bit. That Who's like the do you think serial killers have gone, have tapered off? Well, the thing is, I don't think there's such thing as, see, every, most serial killers have patterns. 
Like he yeah. killed everybody in this small radius, like geographically. Yeah. And you know, there's there's patterns to the killings. He would go to these to this one area, pick them up, and then he had his way of killing them. I mean, the only way you would really be able probably to be like a prolific serial killer in today's world would be to minimize patterns, like do it in different areas and have them seemingly not be linked together. Because but isn't the that patterns the fun? are so- Isn't that the fun of killing people is getting, getting your thing? Well, no, I'm saying that like there's there's so there's been such an advancement in in how they track people and, and forensics and 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 you know whenever there's if there's two or three killings that are similar in an area they're they know they have somebody like it's not like before where you could go this whole long way and nobody would even think to research that so i don't think you could get away with being somebody who kills a bunch of people in an area Do you, you'd have to be like i killed somebody in maine and somebody in montana you know it would be like it would be like that what would you rather if More you were going to do it maybe to try that i don't know <laughs> what would you what a, what other advice do you have for serial killers, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> what other advice do you have for serial? Well, if you, I think there's probably somebody well, how would out you do there. it? How would you do it? Well, Knife, I, I'm saying I think there's somebody them? out there who is like a uh, really like psychopathic evil, but really really smart, right? And if they are, they probably have researched so much all the way, like every every give, everything that could lead to your capture. But you know what? why these guys always get caught is because they get sloppy. They get lazy. Yeah. And if you're out there and you want to prove that you're not, <laughs> you know. Do you think we have a serial killer watching our show right now? Probably. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, don't kill us. Yeah, don't. Not us. Not us. We'll yeah. tell you who to kill. <gasps> oh, that could be fun. Dude. If we just... What if they started? What if there was a serial killer who, anytime we brought up someone on the show, they killed them, and then every and then the cops came to us and they're like, they're like, uh, "Hey man, you uh, you mentioned Bobby Lee's name. <laughs> he's he's missing." Yeah. And we're like, "Well, it's typical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give him a week. Give him a week. Yeah. But like, no, look at Nadav. Nadav's like, don't do this. The uh, well, how would you kill someone? Would you come with your bare hands? Or a rope? Uh, it's a really good question. I thought about it. I wrote a paper about it in high school. For um, real? Yeah. I got to the speech uh, finals with it. Uh, I, I, I could bring it in. <laughs> I would love to see that paper. I know. But one teacher thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever seen, and he pushed me through the next round. Really? And then I did it in the finals to like an auditorium full of like a thousand people. Really? Not as many laughs. Yeah. <laughs> The guy before me explained what E equals MC squared is, and then I was like, do you ever want to kill people? <laughs> Where's fat sticks? Um, wow. You really, you got amped up right now. Is this because you're going to see your parents? Uh-huh. <laughs> you going to come over and have, have a burger with my dad? Uh, I told you. You don't want to. Well, it's not that. It's just that I'm only Six home for like. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's, why, yeah. that's the other thing is like everyone's home for like fucking two days. Yeah. What are you going to spend time? No, we just like, it's just at the house, fuck around. They'll just jump on me and, you know, <laughs> just be crazy. Wait, wait, we went wait. fishing off the dock yesterday. Or maybe I'll take my dad over to see your house. Okay. And he'll be like, whoa, this is a nice big guy. Uh, yeah, that'd be that. <laughs> You're fucking. So I was going to ask you. What? You're, you're so crazy. Uh, you guys are going to miss me when I'm gone. Yeah, of course we will. I hope so. Like, I hope when I die, people talk about me a lot. They will. You make it sound like it's going to happen in a week. It's not. I'm going to outlive a lot of people. I think it's going to yeah, be shocking. I think so, too. Let's list the people I'll live longer than, and then let's take odds on it. You think I'll live longer than Stanhope? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Joey? Yeah. Ari? Yeah. Ari's going to die. Ari's going to, yeah. Ari's going to, Ari's going to, I bet Ari dies first. Oh my God. I bet he does. I bet, no, because Ari does dangerous shit. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. He, we, we, we had a conversation about it the other day. Someone was like, <laughs> sorry, Ari, if I'm spoiling the beans. 
And nothing's a secret with me, okay? Ari called me and he was like, I'm worried about your drinking. I was like, I'm fine. Uh, it was a good, really good conversation. He goes, he goes, I, I, you know, I'm just, you know, I hear stories and I want to make sure you're okay. I think it's because I'm so fat right now that I think when I lose weight, everyone's like, Bert's doing good and I'll still be drinking the same. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so he goes, I said, well, what curbs that, well, how would you do that? Would you just, diet, food? Yeah, I'm, 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 it's when Thursday, Thursday, I go home, nothing. Eating? Uh, I'm eating my trifectas. I do my trifectas on the road right now. And I know when, I look fucking fat right when, now. Wait, and when you go, when you're home, you'll drink, you won't drink either? I won't drink. I don't like drink. I don't care to drink at home, I mean, honestly. I, 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 like, it pisses me fucking off that this is what's going to happen. I'm going to come home Friday, and Leanne's going to go, Leanne does this thing and fucking makes me crazy. She'll go, I feel like a signature cocktail. And then I, I go, yeah, I always want that. I always want that. But now that I'm not drinking, that's when she wants it. Right. And then I, and then she go, I'm going to get a gin fizz. Would you want one, honey? And I go, yeah, but I'm not drinking right now. So let's not do gin fizzes because I'm not going to do, she'll do one gin fizz. I go, why am I doing one gin fizz? Give me, unless we're taking a Xanax and doing a gin fizz, I'm not doing one. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I'm going to do a signature cocktail. She'll go, um, we should have friends over tonight. I go, hey, I'm not drinking. Let's, not, let's fucking lock it down. Yeah. Let's lock it down. I love, I love not drinking. You go in, have dinner with the family. You do a workout in the morning. You feel great, right? Have dinner with the family. Everyone goes off to bed. Leanne sits on the couch with all her fucking animals. <laughs> I go out to the man cave. I go out to the gym and I get on the treadmill and I just walk and I fucking think of jokes and I watch TV and I fucking tweet and I, I love it. I love it. I don't tweet really. I haven't been on Twitter in fucking forever. I'll maybe when Elon buys it, but, uh, I love not drinking, but then Leanne does this little fucking, yeah, I'm, I'm, I kind of want a glass of sh a rosé. Do you want a glass of rosé? And I go, you already know I never say no to rosé. Why would okay. you do that? But I want another bottle of rosé. Well, then, I, well, then, yeah. And then I, I, we, she has one glass. I murder that bottle. And then I'm like, hey, what, what red can I open? And she was like, I, why don't we just go to bed? And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> She is so fucking lucky. She's lucky. <laughs> she really is. What in what way? Just that she ended up with you. So like, this is gonna sound like a delusional person. No. <laughs> see, you look see, just like you. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I want to share everyone. I always say that I don't know why people like you. That's one of my favorite things. Those things. But then I just realized other people get to like it too. Okay. Okay. Um, That's good. So so. Uh, if you don't know about two bears, I'll sell you hard as fuck on two bears. Do you, I've done it before. I've done it before. My, yeah. Your dad says I, you have a podcast. I say, yeah, you being serious? And they say, yeah, what is it? Like, I say I have two, Birdcast, which is a different vibe, and then two bears. I do it with my best friend. And I go, if you haven't watched two bears, you're sleeping. And they're like, what do you mean? I go, just Google Kool-Aid. Yeah. Immediately. Dude, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I go, yeah, it's me and my best friend. We're in our, inarguably two of the funnier dudes in this country. <laughs> I mean, without a fucking doubt. Without a fucking doubt. I mean, we're legit, legit. Yeah, yeah legit, legit. We're, we're top 20 okay. on sure. Netflix. Sure. Like, we're, we're, we're funny fucking guys. Yeah. And we love each other, and we fuck around, and we say regrettable things, and we get drunk sometimes, yeah. and we get high, and we put butt plugs in our ass, and yeah. we fucking threaten Jennifer Aniston, yeah. and we fucking drink Kool-Aid. Yeah. I drink Kool-Aid. A gallon a day. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Here's the deal. I, I don't get like I, motherfucker, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's yeah. like it's like I'll sell you on some Somebody, shit. That I, I was, know is good. I was uh, I was in a hotel gym, and uh, the Celtics were in town playing, whatever city we were in, and uh, one of the Celtics was in the gym, and he goes, "Oh man, I'm a big fan of Two Bears," and uh, I go, "Oh thanks," and he goes, "Can I take a picture?" And I go, "Yeah, sure, man." Wait, what Celtic? I don't remember his name. What? I don't remember his name. Uh, he was really tall. Okay. And uh, he, pull up the fucking starting lineup of the Celtics. <clears throat> so, just pull up the roster, not the starting lineup. Boston Celtics, twenty twenty two roster. Um, and then it might have been. Hold on, keep going. Uh. 
Hit, I'll tell hit, you. hit, uh, go, go back to the left. Hit Sam Hauser. It was, I think it was Sam. Okay, keep going. Um, so anyway, I think. So anyway, so he takes a picture with me. And you see this big six, seven yeah. dude. And he's like, I really appreciate it. And, you know, he asked me what I'm doing in town. And then and he walks away. Well, there's another guy working out in the gym, just like some dude. And he sees it all. So he's like, what does he listen to? And I was like, what? He goes, what did he say? You, you have a show? I go, oh, yeah, yeah, he listens to Two Bears. He goes, what is that? And I go, it's a podcast. And he's like, oh, I listen to podcasts. I go, okay, good. And he goes, uh, what's like the kind of the formula of that show? Like, what are you talking about? And I go, listen, man. Uh, it's really hard to explain. I go, I, go I, I, don't, I don't know if you'd like it. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I go, well, he goes, like, what, like, what are your topics? Like, what are the topics? Like, what do you guys discuss? Is it like economy, news? And I was like, no, no, no. And he was like, so what is it? I go, it, we're, it's comedy. And he's like, it's a comedy show? I go, it's called My Two Bears, One Cave. My friend doesn't know who Justin yeah. Trudeau is. Yeah. I go, just, uh, you can look it up. I, I did, like, the opposite of selling him. I was oh. like, I go, I, I think it's leg day. We got we to go. So it, <laughs> that's how I sold him. And he was like, oh, all right. No. I love, I love when, uh, like, I, my favorite is when to hear someone, hear someone sell it to someone else. Yeah. So like we were in a restaurant the other day and the, our chef came, our chefs, there's every chef, by the way, that I go to, wherever we go to any like restaurant, not chef, chef, but like the cooks. Yeah. They're always like one guy yeah. came out the other day and goes, I'm listening to you right now. Right now. I get right that, now. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, cool. But it's fun when someone goes, wait, what is it? And then they have to explain it in front of you. Yeah. And they're like, oh, it's uh, I don't know, it's like um, it's like uh, they're like he's a, oh, it's Leanne. Oh, hello. What's up, baby doll? Uh, nothing. I'm doing two bears, one cave with Tommy. Oh, oh, well, you might find this interesting for two bears, one cave. What's up? Your daughter Isla got busted in school for gambling. <laughs> 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 Wait, she's shooting dice? <laughs> dice! <laughs> yeah, she's playing left, right, center. Oh, fuck. For money, for money at lunch, and she got busted. Wait, is she in trouble? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Jesus uh, Christ. I think she might be in a little bit of trouble. She's gambling at an all girls Catholic school <laughs> for money. Dice and fucking. <laughs> Domino, motherfucker! Right? Oh, I man. thought I'd let you know. All right, all That's right. So, can we call Isla? <laughs> <laughs> she's detained at the moment. She's, uh, she's like, <laughs> are you fucking serious? She's in the principal's office. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's being detained for shooting dice, motherfucker. You know? God damn it. I don't think she knew it was technically gambling. I don't think she understood. But yeah, yeah she got in trouble for gambling. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Well, when do you when do you get into Austin tomorrow morning? Yeah, tomorrow morning. Okay, man. Uh, <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Bye, Bye Tom. Bye. Yeah. Fucking Isla. Yeah, the Isla stories never end. <laughs> Yeah. That's fantastic. That's a good one. That's a good one.